Hello YouTube, this is Kashif here from KR Graphics, and I'm back with a quick video. Um, this this video particular video came about when I was trying to figure out how to keep my polygon groups for my models. So right here, I have a pair of um, trousers that were, that were modeled for my character. And what I want to do is I want to decimate the model, but keep but keep polygon groups. Usually, noisy task. We're using decimation maps. Um, you, you, you would usually lose all of this when you decimate your models. However, I'm going to show you a trick. Preserve your poly groups and decimate your models together. Right now, I'm going to go, I'm going to my pl with the plugins. Go to um, UV Master. And I'm going to go ahead and just do a quick, uh, quick poly groups and hit unwrap. Do, do a quick unwrap. And what this will do is this will keep your UVs intact. Now, at this, I'm gonna go to my um, geometry tab and delete those, delete the, delete the um, subdivision level, so that we can go and decimate this. Now, I, I don't do this often when I'm modeling. I don't decimate my meshes at all. But I, but I come to find out that for programs like um, Nald and Substance Painter. Having a lighter mesh would make your model easier to build. I recently found this out. The hard way, of course. When I was sitting here one night in my in a damn program wouldn't move. So heavy. I think um I'm not sure if Painter uses CPU baking or GPU baking. I am I'm usually accustomed to programs like um Nald and Marmoset Toolback 3, which uses GPU baking. That's a lot faster than waiting for the computer to catch. Um, anyway. So let's get let's get to the part where I save my my poly groups. So to do this, I go I go to my Z plugins, and I go to Decimation Master, and I click on Keep UVs. This is important right here. You want to preserve your UVs for baking your meshes. Okay. Then I go to pre Process Current, and then let the, let ZBrush process the model. Let's so take usually depending on the density of your mesh. It'll take a it'll take a, a few about a few seconds to about a minute. Um, this plugin is pretty fast for processing for having a mess processed. You know, and, and yes, depending depending on your model's polygon count, you want to be able to. Oh, there you go, pretty quick. So now we go to um preprocess current. I mean, I'm sorry, decimate current, and let's turn down. Let's just turn down a little bit. Let's go down to like eight percent of its polygon count. So you get about 122,000 triangles. Let's go further. Actually, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need a little, I need a little more real estate for that. So just a little more. Hey, that's my current. What you have here is your ordinary mesh that's currently decimated. But you're probably wondering, Chief, you promised us polygroups. What happened to them? Don't fret. <laughs> Don't fret. I told you already that we hit, 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 hit UVs. We did exactly that. And get the polygon groups back. Go here. Auto groups to UV. Boom. You now have your polygon groups as if they didn't leave. And, and to prove it works, go to my, go to my UV, map, UV map tab, hit morph UV. And now you have full decimated meshes with UVs intact. And not only that, it keeps a very clean border too, which is which is very essential when you want to keep your keep your mesh as clean as possible. So, this was a quick video overview of keep, how to keep your poly groups when you do decimation using using um decimation master. Um, any questions at all? Or some feel free to you know leave a comment down below. Um, you know, or say hey. You know, leave a like too, you know, that be motivated. And also please subscribe. I'm gonna have a lot more videos like this, creating characters, creatures, and showing the processes that I take behind my modeling. So until next time, I will wish you guys a good evening. Happy art. Chief. Over and out.